does that feel like? How much will you cherish? Uh, I mean, it felt pretty good. Um, first homer always feels good, but I'm not really focused on the homer right now. I'm focused on the scoreboard at the end of the game. I mean, it's the most important thing that just happened. So, cool moment, really cool to take in. And really good crowd to do it in front of, but it's not where my main, main thoughts are right now. Participating with that would be your reaction. Um, you, do you think, like, at some point, you'll look back and go, you know, that was a lot of fun? And no, yeah, for sure. I probably watched the video 40 million times the rest of my life. But, you know, it, it, it's a cool moment. It's a cool moment for everybody. Um, but I think everybody in here has the same thoughts of first homer or not. Like, we, should, we, want, to win the, we want to win the ball game. That's where everybody's heads at. But, you know, it's early in the season. We're still getting together. But, you know, we, we feel good. We feel like we have a real shot here. So, regardless of first homer or not, you know, we, we know the main goal. That wasn't necessarily a focus of yours, and especially now the power. But how much is that in your bag? You know, I don't really think I even hit for like try to hit for power. I think it just comes along with the line drives that I hit. Um, you know, I'm still getting adjusted up here, and it'll take a little bit. But you know, I, I'm feeling pretty good, and I feel like where my swing's at is a good spot to stay at. You know, stay gap to gap, stay line drives, and everything will play out into itself. Is that your family? No, no, my my family went home. Yeah. Even with a loss, though, can you appreciate the moment getting your first home run and that the reception from your uh, from your teammates? Yeah, for sure. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like if we had won 14 to nothing or we had lost 15 to nothing, you know, I, I think that the love and appreciation from my teammates would have still been there. And I think that's the most important part is how we all carry each other, carry each other on and off the field at practice during the games. It's it's really cool to see. Every single day that you that you're in this game, how much more are you are you feeling comfortable in your role and what you're able to contribute to this team? And just figuring it out every day, learning every day, you know. And sometimes my role is going to be a little different. Sometimes my role is going to be for power or do a job or drive somebody in. Sometimes it's just going to be get on base or play good defense, you know. But it kind of varies every day, so I, I'm getting used to it. Did you get the home run ball back? Yeah, I got a shoot on there. What, 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 what was the exchange for it, and uh, where does that baseball go? Uh, I just I signed a bat for the guy. He was really nice. There's four of them. It's pretty nice. Um, probably goes back to my parents, you know. I kind of like giving my... My, like, I guess milestones to my parents. It's probably like the best thing to do considering how much they've given me, how much they've done for me in the past. Did you check your text messages yet? No. I text my dad and my mom because they text me after every game, but that's about it. I'm not going to go through it today. What was your thought process stepping into that particular at bat? Uh, just looking for a fastball. You know, he's kind of a junk pitcher. He's 93, 94, but. He'll throw a four seam, two seam cutter, sweeper. He's got every pitch. So, you know, just go in there and look for something in the middle. And you know, I was ready for his pitch to hit. So that was kind of what I was thinking. I know it's only been seven big league games for you, but you guys have had some big games, some big innings, and then some games where just a couple of solo home runs. What do you make of just kind of the up and down nature so far? I mean, that just happens. You know, sometimes the, the defense and the pitching isn't going to be as good as the offense and the, and the hitting. But. I feel like once the season keeps rolling and we all keep getting closer and we all keep cheering each other on, like we're going to gel and both of them are going to come together almost every game. And we're confident about that. Like this loss doesn't, it means something to us. Obviously, we learn from the loss and we go f move forward tomorrow. But today's in the past, you know. We got a game tomorrow we're about to go focus on. And we're going to go win that game in the next game and we're going to move on to next, next week. So, you know, I don't really, I don't really think we think too much when we're not hitting or we're not pitching. You know, it's just kind of like, all right, there's, there's more time, you know. I think one, what was the score, 4-1, four, 4-0 four, when I hit the homer? I don't think anybody was out of the game. It was 4 nothing. Like, we were all still locked in. We were all confident we were going to win the game. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. But how long do you let, like, a, a loss stay with you? Probably once I get in the shower, it's gone, you know. I mean, it hurts to lose. But at the same time, we got to come to the field tomorrow and prepare and prepare for that game and just throw this game behind us. Like it looked like Matt's knuckleball was really working really well, and then a few of them just did it, and those got punished. Is that yeah, yeah, it's a pretty see? fair assessment. I mean, I haven't a chance to look at it, but from the side, he has a really good knuckleball, and a couple got up and, and flattened out. They put some swings on him, so you know, it's pretty much a story. How much could you use some more innings from your starters that you have not gotten? Yeah, no, I mean, listen, our bullpen's been used, and. Um, you know, they've carried the mail. They've done a great job, man. Some guys have really stepped up. A lot of respect and um, admiration for that group. Taking the ball, going, you know, multiple innings, um, going out there, competing their tail off. I mean, Brito came in, big stuff, you know, put a swing on him. But 
Gosh, he was, um, I love the assert- assertiveness with him. Um, Cole, I mean, two big jams. He's able to go out there and just make pitches and uh, hang up a couple zeros, keep us in the game. Dalo was fantastic, seven pitches, seven strikes. And then crisp, really good. And, um, you know, then you got Tommy at the end who was back to being Tommy. So it's a good sign. But you don't want to have to keep doing that. I know you no. expect it that with your rotation is going to be a strength. But, I mean, how how imperative is that that, that happens here? It's important. Soon? Yeah, it's important. I mean, look, our, our, I have a ton of confidence in um, our starters. They're going to be just fine. They're going to carry the mail for us. And, you know, now we got our second time through, so I feel good about it. Um, with you tomorrow, um, it's really given our bullpen opportunity to get in some situations to – Kind of earn their stripes a little bit and and uh, break break ground. So um, yeah, I, I know our starters will come around and give us give us the innings we need. You had a nice moment there with Merrill's first home run. Can you just talk about the swing he put on that pitch and what you've seen from him? And yeah, I'm glad you brought it up. Um, what a special you know night you know for Jackson to do that. Um, loud noise driving the ball the other way. You know, he had a great at bat yesterday and drove the ball down the line using the whole field. But man, that was um, that was an impressive swing, loud noise, and congratulations to Jacks for his first big league homer. So his ability to go the opposite way, especially at this level, how how rare is that for a, for a guy's age? You know, Dennis, it's a, it's a it's a great trait. I don't know how rare it is or not, but for any hitter, but especially a young hitter coming to big leagues for the first time, um, not trying to do too much speaks really highly of Jackson and his ability to. Not only handle the bat, but mentally have a good approach. So um, he's a stud. I know not the result you would have wanted, but what was just today like just navigating your first game against a former team? Yeah, I mean, it's all comes down to the results. We didn't, you know, we did a lot of things really well, but not enough of them. You know, they played a good ball game and, you know, we came up short. So it's really just keep it as simple as that.